So I'm recreating here what I did when I designed the Dog Moran hulls. Um, that's an example of what it's going to look like. I'm going to try to keep up with my work here and narrate as I go along. So just putting that over to the side as a template and I'm making a rectangle that is 72 inches long by 16 inches wide. And you can see that rectangle that I made, that's the dimensions of the real boat. This example I've got up on the top of the screen isn't really like the real boat. That's okay though. So now I'm doing a midline because it, this whole thing is symmetric and if I make a quarter of it, I can mirror that quarter to get the whole thing. So it looks like I'm just trying to line it up with the, the template. So now I'm using a curve and I'm drawing a curve from the midline vertically to the midline horizontally. And once I've got that, I'm going to mirror that horizontally, I think. Yep, and then I'll mirror it vertically and then I'll join those lines. And what I'll have is the top of the walls of the hull or the, the top of the, the gunnels, I think it's what they're called. So I join those and now I'm just gonna make a copy of those 16 inches lower and that will be the bottom of the gunnels because my boat is 16 inches tall. But right now it's just as big on the top as it is on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is scale down that bottom outline and I'm going to use the 1D, actually, I guess, I don't know, let's see what I'm doing, 2D. I'm gonna scale it in 2D from the midpoint, I'm just sort of eyeballing it um, till it looks about right. So I guess that looks right to me. Now I wanna make sure it's 12 inches wide because I just figured my dogs need 12 inches of width. So what I've drawn here is a six inch polyline and then I'm going to scale in one in this vertical dimension from the center until the edge is about even with that six inch mark. Oh, I, I screwed up there. I was trying to be precise and for some reason it didn't work here. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. So there, good enough. Now I'm going to loft those two curves and that'll make some nice sides. I won't have a top and I won't have a bottom, but I'll have sides and I can just cap those to make a solid and then I can do some analyzing of the displacement. So the water weighs about 0 0.036 pounds per cubic inch. Uh, so it turns out I want to have I want to have about 10,000 cubic inches that I'm displacing. So here I'm using cap planar holes. I'm going to go up to the analyze thing here and figure out what the volume is and it's almost 10,000, 9767 and that's just for one hull but that would that's the total displacement so here I'm creating some simulated water you can see there's my simulated water line I'm gonna split this I'm gonna measure the volume of what's below the water line and hopefully I'll get around 5,000 because if I do then two hulls would be 10,000 and that would float about 360 pounds so 5377, that's all good. So at this point, this thing works. It's about the length I want. I want it to be about 16, or sorry, six feet long. Here, um, I exploded it and got rid of the top because I don't really need that. But I think at some point I decide, oh, what the heck, I'll just keep the thing solid. And I'm gonna use what's called, yeah, solid again. I'm gonna use the unroll surface command where it just takes all these surfaces and flattens them out in one plane. So pretty soon here you'll see, there they are. And I don't need the big elliptical or lenticular or whatever that shape is one, because that's the open part of the top, I'll be deleting that. But my next step is to lay them out on a virtual piece of plywood. You can see I got rid of the big, the big top part and this uh, rectangle that I drew here is 96 inches wide by 48 inches tall. I'm rotating the side panels horizontally to fit them on there, lining them up with the top edge and the right edge. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom and just make sure everything fits nicely. Now, there's actually a lot of wasted space here and I was tempted to try to make it all, make the whole boat. This is just one hull that I'm designing here. 
I was going to make the whole boat fit on one sheet. But if I did that, it wouldn't have nearly the displacement I wanted. Uh, wouldn't be able to hold as much weight. It wouldn't be as stable. So I just ended up with a little bit of plywood that I didn't use.